Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, Hi, mister. Hello. Good evening. I can listen to you very well, teacher. Oh, excellent. I decided to change the microphone because yes. uh, I had to speak in front of the computer for you to hear me and then I decided to make a little change. Yeah. How are you today? You fine? Fine. Fine teacher, thank you. Great, that's nice, that's very good. Uh, is it raining by your house? Sorry? No teacher. No, it isn't. No raining. No raining. No, it's just oh. very hot, like, like somewhere here. By my house, it's very really hot. Okay, my dear Nitos, I'm going to begin sharing the screen so that we may begin. But before that, how is the platform coming? I know that today is class number six, so that uh, we, we still have two days before the midterm, but I was wondering if you have already begun because little by little we build a house, right? Little by little. So, but we need to be working on that. I have been asked uh, to tell you, they told me, please help us out with this, tell them. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you, I hope that you have been able to do it, okay? Yeah. Don't take it as who it is, teacher is. No, no, it's only a friendly reminder because I believe that uh, some of you, well, all of you are very busy. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of responsibilities. You have a lot of work. Therefore, you don't have much time. And the little time mm -hmm. you spend it with your little kids, right? So I understand that much. So, well, I have to tell you. Okay, let's begin. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So good evening again. Let's begin with the things that we have to do tonight. We're going to be working on two special houses. We're going to be discussing two special houses. Today is Thursday, July the 22nd. Okay, and I'm very happy to be with you. In the agenda today, we will have uh, two special houses, jobs and activities, simple present with questions and uh, conversation. He works in a hotel. Okay, so I hope that we get that far. If we don't, no problem. The objectives for tonight continue to be to discuss places in the house and to discuss furniture, okay? And uh, as added to this, we have to discuss times and activities. So the last time, yesterday, what did we study? What do you remember we studied yesterday? Something that you remember that we studied? Yes, teacher, W question with a simple person. Hey, yes, that's true. And we're going to continue working on that too. Okay, then we need to move on with that. Okay, excellent. What else did we study? Something else that you remember? Gloria, what do you remember that we studied? Hi, teacher. Hi, oh, uh, we study about where do you work, people mm -hmm. and different place the work. Yes, that's true. What else do we study? Mm. Places where we work, WH questions. Okay. Places to the work. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that we put some things in order? 
Yes. What is the Sorry? Their timing? Okay. Oh. Simple present. Simple present. What else? Um, the W question um, with the verb do. Yes. That's and it. does for he. And do is for you, are, and they. But does is for he and she. Excellent. Yes, that's true. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Very good. Now, let's begin. This does this picture look familiar to you? Yes, teacher. Excellent. We're going to be describing rooms. Okay. In what sense? We're going to be uh, saying what we find in the different rooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see this one. Uh, can you describe this room? There is a studio. Ah, okay. Yes, there is a, a bookshelf here. Maybe this is a studio. Mm -hmm. A bookshelf. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Do you think that there are children in the house? Yes, for the car and the floor. Uh, there is a car on the floor, and also there is a toy on the dresser. But there are two toys yes. on the dresser. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I imagine that there is a child. Yeah. Excellent. Um, the, the, uh, the people live in the house in, is uh, um, like the picture for the picture in the wall. There is a painting, there is a painting on the wall. Painting, painting okay. There is a lamp. Uh-huh, there is a lamp, but very modern, right? A modern. Uh, yeah, and a toys. Uh-huh, there, there are toys, at least there are three toys. What do you think is connected to electricity here? This plug is for what? Could be for the computer. But there is there is no computer here. Well, at least I don't see one. Do you think that is for the lamp? For the lamp, yeah. For the lamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else can you see in the room? There is a dress, yeah. there is toys, there is a clock, there is a lamp, and there is a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, a there, plant. Is, there is a, a tree. A plant. Uh, it, uh, there, there are two bookcases. Bonsai. <laughs> bookcase. There is a bonsai. Maybe bonsai. Yes. It's a bonsai. a bonsai. Yeah, it's true. It's a beautiful. Let's say it's a beautiful tree, small, nice. What kind of tree do you think it is? Is it a ficus? There is a radio. Oh. Yeah, it's true. There is a radio here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Next, well, in front of the radio, what do you think it is? What's this in front of the radio? There is a lamp or for me it's camera. There is camera. a photograph. There is a photographic camera. Photographic camera. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is type of cameras? You see the old types of cameras, or do you think there is a digital camera? On the desk, it's, it's a, a digital clock. Uh, yeah. the clock on the desk. That's true. There are books. Uh -huh, there are several books. Are... Uh -huh. What do you think? Are the books new? 
No, many, many books. There are many books, but they are old. Uh, old they, and new. They belong to the parents. Mm -hmm. Old. <laughs> For the several temas, como le podemos decir? Yes, about different topics. About okay. different topics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, excellent. Let's move to the next picture. Let's see, let's look at this picture. You you have seen it before. Okay, how many pillows are there? In the room? Yes, how many pillows? There is a There is a window. There is a chair. How many pillows? Sorry, no the lamp, table, a lamp, a flower, a paint, fruit, window, a pillow, a pillow, a dishes. There are windows. There are windows. What else? There are dishes. How many? There is a desk. There are how Lamps. many? There are, there are desks. There are desks, right? There are two chairs. There is a table. Uh -huh. There are. Um, how do you there say? There are flowers. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. no. How many windows? Three windows. Three windows. Three windows. One, two, three. Three windows. And there are two lamps. Two lamps. Uh -huh. Two lamps. What these are. Shall uh, oh. Handicraft, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Handicraft. Handicraft. Yes. And there two. are. Decoration. Two chairs. Uh -huh. Two how, chair. how many people are there in this house? Maybe six people. I uh, know. Four people. Four people. How do you know? Four people. Four, With four. a plate in the on the on the desk. Yes. On, eight, on the table. Four eight people. people. One, two, four three. people. Four people, right? There are four people in the house. Okay, excellent, very good. Do you like the combination light blue and wood? Yes, it's very nice. That's very, right. very good. I, I like the decor. Like a country. Uh -huh. It's very natural and it's like the countryside. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Now let's look at the last room. Look at yeah. the Living room. It's living room. Yes. Living room. It's a living room. Living room. Yes. There is a smart TV. There is a smart TV. There are. There is door. Yes. There is a door. There are. There are. There are and there are many books. Doors. There are books. There are several books. Well, not not so many, but there are. There is a mirror. There are doors. A mirror. There is a mirror. There are mirror. Wow. There, there is carpet. Mirror is on the next to the, the carpet. Book. Yes, it's true. What? This is the mirror. Uh -huh. It's yeah. next to the books. It's true. What do you think this is? There is a table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where is the table? At uh, this one, right? Uh, yes. Would be the coffee table? In the floor, in the floor. On the floor. What's this? There is a... Uh, maybe books? Maybe books? Magazines. Maybe. Or magazines. Maybe. I don't others. know. I, I can see. There are a carpet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Carpet. Yes, this is a computer screen, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. There. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. Now let's. Oh my God. Okay. There is a toe. Yes. Reading. Exercise one. Reading. Two special houses. To describe a home. Read the text. Text and express your opinion. Look at this house. The name of this house is called Hogan. Hogan's. Where, where do you, who do you think lives in these type of houses? Who lives in that type of houses? Um, Native American. Native Americans, uh -huh. Native Americans. Na sorry, Native, Native? Na oh. Native, Native Americans. Native, Native American, okay. Native Maybe American. in Peru? Uh, Peru? Uh, yeah. No, maybe not. No. This type of house. No, it's in Arizona. It's in Arizona. Look at this. It's in Arizona. There is a wagon. Oh, sorry. No, no problem. It's okay. It's an opinion. You don't have to apologize. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. So yeah, this is a Hogan, and uh, yes, do you think they have animals? Yes. Yes, because it was in mean corral or cerca. It is well. They have a like a small stall here for animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. For animals. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. This is for animals, even though. Or do you think that is for plants? It looks more like for plants, right? This is a garden. Could be a garden. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. It, it, yeah, because we don't see animals there. I was thinking yes. that probably the animals could be outside. Okay. Yeah. They have gone for El pozo, <laughs> pozo de agua. Dwell. Maybe. Uh, well. Maybe behind pozo de agua. Could I a, don't know pozo. Oh. Uh -huh, a well. What? Well. W e l. Well. How are you today? Uh -huh. I'm well. Okay, the same word. Well, you the positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. W W E R O. Uh, yes. W E L L. Mm -hmm. Double L. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. That's very nice. Now I would like a volunteer to read. I'm going to read it first for pronunciation. Then I will have volunteers read it. It says, every year, people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Now, who would like to read? Who would like to be a volunteer? Me, teacher. Me, okay. teacher. Thank you very much. OK. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trips. Most people stay in hotel but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Kyler Hogan's, mm -hmm. Lauren Nelson, a teacher from America. From Arizona? In, from Arizona, invites visitors mm -hmm. to stay mm -hmm. in her home. It has to chair two beds on the floor and wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teacher her guests about Native American tradition. Okay, Native, Native American tradition. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. The other volunteer is Roberto, right? Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Every year, okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in a traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a good burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teach her guests about Native American tradition. Okay. Excellent, that's very good, that's nice. Thank you. Now, uh, who else would like to read? Okay, Karen Bernal read, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Read. Okay. You read every, or you want every, to? Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in, a, in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called homes, Lorraine Nelson at Isher from Arizona in vain visitor to stay in her home. It has to chair bed on the floor and a wall burning stop. Miss Nelson teaches her guests above Native American tradition. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Karen. Now, Jamilet. Yes. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native, Native American trips. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Cal Owens, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning. 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 Okay. So Miss Nelson teaches her um, guest about Native American tradition. Excellent, very good, that's great. Okay, let's see the last one. Elsa Natalia Aguilar, right? Uh, good evening. Every year many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites vis visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the, on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teach her guests about Native American tradition. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. I see Miledis Barabona's hand. Okay, please go ahead. I'm ready to give you a chance. Go ahead. Yes, Miledis, you may, you may go. Miledis, can you hear me? Hi. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Carl Hogan's, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invite visitors to stay in her home. Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. 
Ms. Nelson, teacher, here guests about Native American tradition. Thank you very much. Now, some of the pronunciation. Okay, like visit, visitors, right? Visit, visitors. Then about, about, and then this, you can say native if you want. Okay, native, native. American tribes, Native American tribes, hotels, hotels. Okay. This is here. In no flap sound is used. Flap sound is the one that you say like D or D that we pronounce them R, right? Hotels. So stay in hotels. Then the other one is invite, invite, right? Okay, that's it. Very good, thank you very much. Now we're going to have other volunteers for the second reading. Now, this is the second reading that in reality is the first, but I decided to make it second, okay? Um, yes. Daniel, Carlos Daniel. Uh, Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, my friend. You may begin. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She's a famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some, some of her neighbors, um, sorry. Uh, think, think. Okay, some. think. Her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Snares loves it. Excellent, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much. Okay, Olga is next, right? So please read. You may begin. Okay. okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is Mexican American writer. It is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, thin, and purple. There are many books and color paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too color but Mrs. Nero loves it. Okay, excellent, very good. That's great. That's fantastic, okay. Let's see, somebody else would like to read? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. I didn't see your hand, that's why I don't, don't know that. Gloria, right? Yes, Castellanos. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no problem, it's all right, begin. <laughs> In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house, the house in, in the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's a famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The room are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros this narrow house are white or bay. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbor think her house is too colored, but Mrs. Neros love it. Love it. That's it. Okay. Excellent. Love it. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. Okay. Who else? Who else would like to read? Okay, for pronunciation, in San Antonio, Texas, 
There's a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Neros is a Mexican American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many of the houses near Mrs. Neros' house are white and beige. Different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Or but Mrs. Neros loves it. Okay, so that would be the idea. Now, okay, I guess nobody else wants to read. So I see Milady's hands, but she was that was from before, right? Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. No escucho muy bien. Hay mucha interferencia. It's true. Puedo leer ya. Yes. It's okay. Okay. Only activate your microphone and silence the others. Okay, okay. You can hear me now? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting. Many other houses near Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbor think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's love it. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's continue with Jamie. You may start with. Good night. Yes, good evening. In San Antonio. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Neros is an American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. Stories? Stories. Mm -hmm. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near. Mrs. Nero's house are white, are white? No, white, white, are white on base. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbor think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero loves it. Loves it. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. That's it. These are the, uh, the volunteers. Now let's continue. We have, uh, so we read the two houses, okay? Which of the two houses would you like to visit? Would you like to visit the Hogan or would you like to visit the Purple House? I like to visit the Purple House. The Purple House. Yeah, with a different color room. Me too. Me too. I visit the the purple house. Purple house. Yeah, it would be very nice. I'd love to visit the purple house too, to see. Okay, very good. Now we're going to continue. We have no question. Do you have any questions about the texts? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No questions. 
Excellent. No. If you have no questions, then let's proceed. Okay, we have a reading. I'm going to do a trick with this because, okay, I'm going to do so. This didn't want to hide, so I'm going to move this to this side. Okay, if I move it to that side, that gives me room to see you and to read, okay? So, uh, exercise A, read the article, what's in each house? Complete the chart. Okay, we have three chairs, many books, colorful paintings, porch with a pink floor, two beds on the floor, wood burning stuff. Okay, you tell me, Pink, I mean, purple house or Hogan. Okay, three chairs. There are three chairs. Where? Hogan or Pink? Nelson Hogan. Nelson Hogan. There is a Nelson Hogan. In the Hogan, right? Hogan. There is a three chairs in Nelson Hogan. Okay, excellent. Very good. Nelson Hogan. Two bed on the floor. Okay, then. A colorful painting. Sandra Cisneros House. Sandra Cisneros House. There are in a colorful paint. Uh -huh. yes. Color there are colorful paintings. Painting in Sandra Cisneros House. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. Now then, two beds on the floor. There are two beds and a Nelson Hogan. Nelson Hogan. Okay. Nelson's Hogan. Okay, very good. Many books. Sandra Cisneros House. Sandra Cisneros House. Sandra Cisneros House. Sandra Cisneros House. Wood burning stuff. Nelson, Nelson Hogan. Hogan. Nelson Hogan. Nelson Hogan. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, these are the houses. <laughs> what do we use? There is a, in Lorraine Nelson's house, there is a what? How do we go? Blue, bur blue, blue burn burning stop. Burn stop. And so let me see. I'm going to complete it. The completion. Uh, for the moment, it's going to become smaller, but we can burn. Okay, there is. A... a porch. No, there is a wood burning stop. Excellent. And uh, what about there are? What do we Fish use? Three chairs. Three chairs. Three chairs. Excellent. What else? There are two beds on the floor. There are two beds on the floor. Okay. Floor. Excellent. Very good. Now for the other one. Sandra Cisneros House. There are many books. Uh, many books. Okay. Excellent. Many books. Colorful painting. Colorful, Colorful painting. <laughs> Photographs are different, right? How are photographs and paintings different? 
for, uh, photographs come from uh, from a camera yeah. made by painters, right? Painters. Good evening, Stephanie. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to discuss this topic. Here we have to use our imagination. Okay, are you ready? You are good at using your imagination. Are you good at using your imagination? Okay, so it says group, group work. Talk about these questions. Number one, imagine you are painting your house. What colors do you use? What colors do you use? I would say here, what colors do you use? Okay, what colors do you use and why? If you are painting your house, what colors do you use? Okay. I, I know that you are good at colors, so you will tell me very nice colors. Uh -huh. What colors do you use? Can you hear? Maybe something. What colors do you use if you are painting your house? White. White. Okay. And what other color? In inside the house, inside the house, you paint it white. What about outside? What color do you paint? Or do you use the same color inside and outside? Okay. White is a very nice color. Okay. Inside. White inside. White inside. Okay. And outside, Milady? Inside, aqua. Inside. Inside. Aqua. Aqua. Okay. Yes. And outside. Yes. Green. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a nice. I'm one. use. I'm use combination color green, yellow, and black. Green, yellow, and black. Yes. Okay. That reminds me of an African flag. Okay. <laughs> you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Why not? This looks like a nice color. Okay. Karen, what color would you paint the house? If you are painting your house, what colors do you use? I paint my house the aqua aqua uh, inside outside in um, inside and black oh, no no in white <laughs> okay so let me see inside you use aqua and white and outside Inside aqua, in, 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 inside white, I use white. Okay, very good. Outside aqua, inside white. Yeah, why not? Okay, Roberto, what color do you use to paint your house? Yeah, I will paint, I will paint my, my house inside in white. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I will paint uh, outside with brown. I didn't, I didn't get the last color you said. Brown. Brown, brown, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, like this, like this, uh, do, do you see yes. over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, actually, some people paint the house half half one color 
and half the other color. So one half is one color, the other half is the other color. Why do you think they paint it like that? Why? Like um, the bottom part, the bottom part of the house is dark blue and the second part of the house, the, the second, let's say the top part is like light blue. Why? Why do they do, they do that? Many people think that is uh, is um, is great, no? Uh huh. Do you think that the house gets dirty? The colors, the dark colors, cover a little bit, and the light colors get dirty, like like the pie colors get dirty very quickly. Maybe right. Yeah. Okay, that could be the case. Okay, second question. Imagine you are visiting Arizona. Okay, you see the certain place, hot, etc. Do you stay in a Hogan or in a hotel? In my case, I stay in a Hogan because I like learning different history or tradition, the talk. You want to, you like to experience firsthand. Okay, how do we, excellent, very good. Now I have uh, Olga, tell me please. Um, I, I would like to visit Arizona, but I, I don't stay in a Hogan house because, um, I, I I don't know uh, where is the bathroom in here. Uh -huh, exactly. uh, I I prefer in a hotel. Yes, they have outhouses, not really maybe rooms, but maybe restrooms. Like the, like the country or our our oh, uh, country, mm -hmm. country. La, uh, 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 el campo. Uh, in nuestro país, our country, uh -huh. land and our country. Okay, yes, I agree with you. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Miledis, what about you? Um, I'm a stay in a Hogan because I like explorer place. Oh, okay, you like to explore places. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you like to hear the stories they're going to tell you in the Hogan to know how the Indians live, the Native American, um, Americans live. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Somebody else who would like to give an opinion? If you are visiting Arizona, you stay in the Hogan or in the hotel? I'm staying. Stay in the hotel, to be honest. Why not? Because Olga, it's very hot. You don't know if it's clean water. And uh, you don't want to get sick. When you're if you get sick when you are traveling, it's medicine or medical care. Here country is cheap. Medical care in the United States is expensive. Okay, very good. So, who else has an opinion? Miledis gave her opinion, right? Or no? No, no. Okay, because I've seen your hand for a long time. Okay. So uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> if you are busy in Arizona, do you stay in Oregon or in a hotel? Edith? Can you repeat, please? Okay. He says, you are visiting Arizona. Do you stay in Oregon? Um, I'm gonna stay 
in Hogan, a Hogan. A Hogan, okay. Because I like explorer places. Oh, you like exploring places. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's continue then. It's two special. Okay, let us continue. Now, exercise two jobs and activities. Teacher, we already studied jobs. Yes. But it's a recycling. This okay. The purpose is to describe people's activities at work. What things do people do at work? A works in a hospital. He or she sees patients. A secretary works in an office. She organizes her boss's work. A dentist works in a clinic. He fixes his patient's teeth. A mechanic works in a workshop. He fixes cars. Now, what about a painter? Where does a painter work? And what does she do in this case? He works in a workshop. Okay, she works in a workshop. Or, or in a studio. Or in a house. Or in a house. Mm -hmm. And what does she do? She paints. Mm -hmm. She paints the picture. Um, I suppose she paints for the child, mm -hmm. for the for children. Right? The draw is very uh, simple. Simple, very simple, yes. Uh -huh. Very simple and very bad. Okay. Oh. Well, in my opinion, Picasso. Picasso, people consider him a genius. Yes, in but I integra, eh, integrar los elementos. Ella no lo hace. Ah, okay. Uh, Picasso didn't interest me. Okay, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I don't like his paintings, but um, I am, I like the history that he transmits via Wernicke and all of the other paintings, but the paintings themselves, no. I prefer, uh, what's the name of the other one? Dali, Salvador Dali was much better, okay. Let's see, let's look at the, the chef. What can you tell me about the chef? He's very handsome. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's very handsome, all right. Excellent, very good. Okay. Now, and now after the, the chef being handsome, where does he work and what does he do? <laughs> He is very uh, careful with the presentation of the plate. Yes, he's very. Of the food. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. he's, he's very methodic for the presentation, the, the food. Mm -hmm. Where does he work? He works in, in a hotel. He works in a hotel, yes. Okay. Or in the restaurant. He works in a restaurant. In a restaurant, five star. Maybe in a, in the hotel's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or he works in a fancy restaurant. Those luxurious restaurants. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Now, what jobs can you see here? The first one. Construction. Engineer. Yeah. Engineer is uh, yes. topographer. Looks like a topographer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A topographer. Okay, what about this one? Gardener. 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 You can see uh, yeah. some, some of the watering can that she has. Can. Okay, what about this one here? Pilot. It's a pilot. Pilot. He's a pilot. In the past here, to be a pilot, you had to be in the military because the training center 
was military, right? Yet you have to be a cadet, and then you you could work on commercial. Now, no, now you can train, you can work on commercial planes. Now, let's look at this one. So he's a pilot, and this one is a. Mechanic. Mechanic. Fix. Plumber. A plumber. Sure. Why not? What about this man? A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. An auditor. A lawyer. Um, Okay, he can be a lawyer, a lawyer. A business administration. Oh, a business Maybe. administrator. Okay. What about this thing? Nurse. Doctor. 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 A doctor. Doctor. Carpenter. A carpenter. It's a carpenter. How many jobs do you see in pictures? Secretary and a teacher. Okay, you see as a secretary or a receptionist and a teacher. Okay, let's see. We have an actor, a baker, a butcher, a carpenter, a cook, a doctor, a doctor. an engineer, a farmer, a fire worker, a fisherman, a gardener, a goldsmith, a hairdresser, a journalist, a judge, a lawyer, a mason, a mechanic, a nurse, a painter, a pilot, a plumber, a policeman, a postman, a secretary, a shoeshine boy, a singer, a soldier, a tailor, a taxi driver, a teacher, and a waiter. Now, do you understand all of these jobs? No, teacher. What does what does uh, Goldsmith mean? Goldsmith. Okay. Goldsmith. Uh, Goldsmith. Like this. There are some jewelers. You know that jewelers make rings, earrings, bracelets, right? Bracelets. Yeah, I got it. I got like it. Like a joyer, teacher. Or febre. Uh, maybe the jewelers make but many times they only sell them. It's an artist. He creates, I mean, he creates the product. He makes them. Okay. He works with them. Like a blacksmith works with iron, okay, and sometimes with steel or brass or copper or metal. Okay, let's see. Any other question? Fire worker, some people say fireman, firefighter, right? Firefighter, fireman. Fire, okay. fire work. Shushan Boy. How many of you remember the movie with Cantin? El Bolero. It's un bolerito. What is El Bolero de Raquel? Yeah. Uh, Shushine Boy. That was Cantin Fla's job. Mm -hmm. he, polished, uh, he polished other people's shoes. Mm -hmm. A shoe shine boy. Okay, that was bolero, he said. In, in country, we don't call them bolero, right? So, okay. So, any other? Tailor. A tailor is a man that makes men's clothes. Like he makes pants, suits, etc. Right? So, a tailor. Uh, the feminine version. Okay, would be a seamstress or a dressmaker. Dressmaker, right? 
they call they still call them dressmakers, but they don't necessarily make only dresses. They can make uh, pants, blouses, etc., or uniforms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other word? What does mean uh, Amazon? Amazon. Oh, this man works in construction. You know bricklayer, right? What's, what a bricklayer is? Okay, so this man builds. He works in a construction site. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, what does a secretary do? Can you tell me what a secretary does? He organizes a paper for... She organizes for papers for her boss. Or she creates she documents. The... She creates documents for her boss. Okay. She organizes the document, the different documents. She, she calls telephone. It's phone calls, she answers calls. Call it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she reads uh, the emails for her boss. She gives her the special information, right? Yeah, that's true. She attended the different person in the office. Exactly. She A baker. What does a baker do? Panadero. Mm -hmm. He makes or she makes. She makes a bread, a bread. cookies, cookies. Um, cake. cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's right. And you make some. Sorry. What about a carpenter? What does a carpenter do? Uh, the carpenter makes a desk, chair, table. They make, he makes a he table. Makes a chair. Means, the table, the chair. That's right. Okay. Pantry, so, yeah, door. True. Doors. Many different types of furniture. Okay. Many different yeah. types of furniture. Okay, excellent. Well, my dear students, we're going to stop here tonight. Time has up alive. So I will be seeing you next Monday, right? Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Rest. Thank you so much, teacher. Have a nice weekend. You too. See you have a nice weekend. See you on Monday, okay? See you Monday. Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Good night. 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 Good night.